Whoa! Set a triple kill at the start. Ladies and gentlemen, Rex, my sacks here being a beast, feasting like always now on Battlefield 1. I know, I come enhanced, I get upgraded time and time again. It's a wonder to even myself how I can remain such a spectacular beast. As you see here, me zipping around in the plane for, I won't say this like the first time, it actually might be the first time. I know the, what, what you're going to be seeing in this video is a few clips over the course of my first, oh yeah, this is definitely the first time. Oh, how to get out of there, got the kill though. Freaked myself out, had to jump out though. But you're going to be seeing clips here from the, the first couple levels, I mean from like my first hour or two of gameplay on this. Uh, I'm not going to, you know, these Battlefield games are so long, you can't sit down and show a full gameplay. So I'm just going to show you some of my best moments here, being able to beast and feast on this game. It's, it's, it's truly a great game. I'm going to be putting up a couple videos of this. And, you know, and we still don't have another map from the beta, uh, and I'm hearing there's another one coming. I just got so, so many clips on just this map alone. I, I feel like I'll be, like, uploading too much of this shenanigans. Even I won't want to watch it, but which is a lie, because I'm, like, the only one who watches this, which is the funny part. But, <laughs> brings me to, to what I want to talk about today. And uh, it's not going to be about the gameplay, of course, you know. Uh, like I said, I got too many videos coming, you know. The gameplay is going to talk for itself. It's fucking amazing. Everybody knows that, you know. The gunplay in this game is so spectacular. In fact, it's, it's, not about the, it's not about the game. It's not about the game, okay. What I want to talk today, ladies and gentlemen, is about, uh, about a little thing called, uh, called hate. You know what I'm saying? Kids these days like to call them haters. You know, they try and do something. Oh, man, you're just being a hater. You know, you're just hating on me. Mostly, I find it as a fucking term for kids to be dumb and retarded and stupid and being a hater, man. You just being a fucking hater. I mean, but the point is that I'm not being a hater in some instances if I'm actually the one logically correct here. And so you have to ask yourself, you know, are you being a hater or are you just being logically correct? Which probably that doesn't sound very, very abrasive to the ears. Doesn't doesn't sound very nice at all. But the point is. Is that a lot of people, and I've always wanted it on YouTube, you know, and I, I eventually thought, you know, over the past few years that people would grow out of it, that it was just like a, you know, everybody was discovering the internet thing, but the more that it goes on and on, you know, the more that people want to hate and, and keep these little social fucking beef shit that they fucking do, and, 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 and shenanery always escalates and escalates and escalates, and you can never really get anything accomplished because everybody's too busy holding their own personal agendas. And you, you see this, you know, not just on a peer-to-peer -peer basis, but you see this on a peer-to-celebrity basis, where people want to hold celebrities to standards they did years ago, who they think they are, you know. That's, that's people's favorite thing to do, is, is they don't want to find, they don't want to find out who somebody is. They don't want to invest time. You know, everybody's selfish. They want to invest time in themselves. And so what they do is they see people, and they might get a couple little parts on it, and they want to wrap their, their thesis and their basis about that person around just that. And so it's hard for when those people get out of the norm. You know, that's why people, you know, it's, it's such a common saying that you need to move to get away, to get a fresh start, you know, start over anew. Because those people don't know you. And then the, the, the perception that you want them to have, you can, you can pretty much well control, you know. People, they grow and they change. And so you're not really so much fucking switching their perception or tricking them. So much as you're just now an evolved person and the people that were around you. Mm, they weren't so much letting you evolve, um, as they were just, I mean, it was pretty much just that, you know, they weren't letting you evolve, you know, they're, they're still keeping you in the mindset that you were however many years ago, and the things that you've done, and things that you said, and there's no way that people can grow, uh, and so it's hard to get that on the internet, because what you're seeing is that, even, even with big YouTubers and celebrities, like I'm saying, even though that you're with them every day and you see their things every day, there's still the perception that you're putting on them. You know, you might hear a little piece about them or whatnot, and then it might skew your perception slightly, but you're still putting it into your perception. You'll never be able to truly be them or what they feel. And so it gets me to my topic today. Um, whoever the fucker is who keeps disliking my videos for years on end here, I don't know what your problem is, you know? I think it's a little funny myself personally, uh, but I, I don't know what I could have ever done. I'm, you know, my mouth runs on like 24-7, you know, I'm a fucking blabbermouth, you know, I go, I go, I go, you know, I talk mostly with no filter, and so things might be said that might be misconstrued, but for the most part, I don't think I've ever wronged anybody, uh, at, at least, you know, if I have, there, there's been definitely repercussions and, uh, a reconciliation about that as well in, in, in certain times and there's you know like anybody I probably got a couple fights left unfinished but I wish that now that whoever you are 
<laughs> that, that is so adamantly disliking my stuff. Um, is that is that I don't you can reach out to me in some way, and we can settle this on a peer-to-peer -peer basis because at this point you know it's doing nothing but but kind of just that uh, it's almost annoying me in effect but it, it's it makes me curious more than anything else because who are you to to see like almost instantaneously when my videos go up and to hate for such long periods of time so uh, it, it, if if there's any way you want to reach out and we we can figure it out you know if you just like dislike it makes you some random i don't know who you are and and you just like fucking disliking people who don't get any views on their videos that's cool you know that's you do you mate um but you know i i, I feel like you know we've we've grown such a bond together we're so close now uh it, you seem to be such a big part of my life i just i, I just want to know if if you could be <laughs> oh wait 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 maybe i'm a big part of your life that's that's kind of what i was going for is that it seems like i'm a big part of your life you know and i don't really know you you know you seem to know me or in some capacity so i'm just a little bit curious on the cover on the on the uh on the subject of it and it brings me to the point at the end of the day is that there's so much hate here uh, you know, it doesn't have to continue. The cycle never has to continue. We can always be people and be and be human beings and then work on a level of respect. And um, like I said, you know, if 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 just disliking videos your things, you know, I mean that's your thing, bro. I just think it's funny. Um, I just I just have always wondered who just sits there and dislikes my stuff for almost no reason. Especially that last P-Dud video. That was a glorious video. I mean, my homie's wrecking in and going in right there. So, just a few things I wanted to touch on. This was my first uh, game of Battlefield, like I said, out of the first couple games. So, uh, it was some badass clips. I wanted to get them down. Unfortunately, I had to talk about such such a topic on this. But, you know, with the recent controversy going on in YouTube, I figured it was time to, to fucking talk about my controversy in YouTube, if you can even call on that. Uh, and so, yeah. If you stayed this long in the video, I appreciate it. Really, I only wanted the one guy to stay this long in the video, because... Or girl, you never know. I don't want to be sexist. Who knows? Maybe it's an ex. I don't know. You never know these things. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, man. I, I do appreciate it if you watch this far. Uh, Rocks my socks here. Signing out. Deuce. Hey, one more quick thing. Uh, I'm gonna let this video continue to play. I got a ton of footage here from the first game. I mean, I'm telling you, these first couple games I played, I was just clip master. You know, if I had a decent computer, I'd be back to editing uh, some montage clips of this. And who knows, maybe I will uh, when Battlefield 1 comes out. But just so much happiness happened in this game. I can't stress enough how good this game is. Uh, okay, all right, all right, I'll shut up, I'll shut up. All right, leave you. All right, bye. Deuces.
taken objective Charlie. 